decided we're going to use these artist they are fluorescent instead of using these uh, the cakes these are a kind of liquidy and so i think they're going to be better for doing your uh, clay project you're going to have on this pile that looks like this you're going to have a half bowl of water and you're going to clean in the number eight remember how we clean in the number eight two caps at a, off at a time because you're sharing with the shoulder buddy this actually gets into the grooves a lot better than the cakes do so start with the lightest color first and be careful you're gonna have scrap piece of paper underneath and all you're doing today artists make sure you just do the tip of the paintbrush and you paint the whole thing when you're done we'll actually go back at the back table in a box and you know you can like i said this is better that it's liquidy then it actually gets inside those grooves really good i have smaller paint brushes as well the light you want to do first that way if i make a mistake then i can go over it with the darker be careful when you're painting that you don't get on your hands also be careful with your um, monster that you don't drop it and clean your brush after you change color so i've been adding the paint to my project artist um, if you want it to be dark make sure you go over it a couple of times make sure that you do the lighter color first like i said this is a very thin paint you're going to find that it's going to be very difficult to get back in here inside the mouth of your monster uh, just do your best if you want to leave it white you can artist as you can see i already got a little bit of pink on those teeth in the front and i encourage you to put a bunch of colors in there i love the fluorescent color uh, do not paint the bottom you don't need to paint the bottom of your monster meaning don't paint that and i will be more than likely spraying them with mod podge or something i'm going to try out another artist artist on a facebook page Art teacher had mentioned that you can make a spray sealer with Mod Podge. So I'm going to be doing some experimenting on that. I'm actually going to do the outside lines of the mouth, and then the rest is going to be orange. So just a couple more tips on painting your monsters. Like I said, if you want it darker, I would do a couple coats. Artists, if you notice, I'm using a flat brush here. I have those on the back counter as well. You can ask for them if I don't have them set out. It makes it go quicker to cover a large area. And this will go in a box in the back. Be very careful, carry it with both hands and set it in there to dry.